yesterday. She played the role of greedy and jealous character of Chun Sung Yi. Right. And it appears that she was actually quite like that in her youth. <laughs> she claims that she was very greedy, ambitious when she was young. Mm. She would even trip, trip her friends over in order to win a running race at school. Wow. She was also very famous even when she was very young and was famous for being Gangnam's top five Erdzang. Erdzang really? means like face. Face, face Jang. <laughs> yeah. Like face King. Face. Best face for something. Yeah. It, it means you're pretty. <laughs> yeah, it means you're pretty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Along with Song Gil when she was in high school. What's interesting is that the other three members of the top five Olja all debuted as a celebrity mm. and have all at least once been in top in their fields. Wow. Gangnam top five Olja are Jeon Ji Hyun, Song Hye actress Han Hye Jin, singer Park Ji Hyun, and singer Seo Ji Hyun from mm. Shaan. Wow. Her famous works. <coughs> Her movie My Sassy Girl with Cha Tae Hyun in 2001 reigned top in box office for six consecutive weeks. <coughs> wow. And is still renowned as one of Korea's favorite rom-coms, mm. romantic comedies. Mm. She received the Best Act Actress Award for her role in My Sassy Girl. Wow. However, since then, she starred in many movies but struggled with slump in the box office, and her acting was also scrutinized. Wow. She then had a little break until she returned with spectacular actions in 2012 movie, The Thieves. Right. Followed by the success of the movie, <laughs> Berlin, in 2013. Mm. And a comeback in the K-drama scene with you who came from the stars in the same year is after a massive 14 year break. Wow. And other interesting notes, it's very long, <laughs> almost there. There was a time where Jeon Jin's popularity was out of this world. Wow. As a simple example, it equaled the popularity of all the K-pop girl groups put together. Wow. <laughs> Back then, many girl, many guys ideal type, type of girl used to be someone with long straight hair, pale skin right. and someone who suits a t-shirt with jeans mm. then they would go on to add for example like Chun Ji Hyun mm. only to be greeted with disgruntled from all the girls <laughs> <laughs> however a shampoo commercial that put in the forefront Chun Ji's long straight hair achieved the fortune of being ranked number one for 11 years wow and lastly according to records in 2004 a certain culture critic mm -hmm. has made a statement that she is a culture code in our generation. Wow. All commercials can be categorized into two. <laughs> those with her and those without her. <laughs> the products she promotes always rec records amazing number of sales. Wow. That was a long profile. Wow, I think this is the longest <laughs> profile we've had so far. Yes. Woo. But she's born 1981. I was, I'm born 1993, so we're Didongap, I think. Oh, Four same years. age. Interesting. Same age. Wow. <clears throat> Anyways, interesting guys. Interesting fact. But yes, she is a friend, same age as you know, K. Will, Fly Theater Skies, Brian, Lin, Pakushin, stuff like that. And as most of you guys know, she is super popular in Korea. My actually, my managers in my company, they're all big fans of Chun Ji Young. <laughs> Even in <coughs> China now, China, she's a yeah she's a big icon. Because when we were watching, uh, you came from the stars at our Sukso at our dorm. Mm -hmm. We were watching with one of my managers, and I was like, is she pretty? Like, I don't know, I don't know why. What's she's not your type, she's not your oh, type. Oh yeah, I was like, she's not my type, I don't know what the big deal is. And mm. like, my manager was like, don't you dare say that. And I was like, <laughs> about my girl. I was like, what? All right, she's all right. my Chun Sung. Yeah, and she, he was like, she's so pretty, and I was like, uh, mm. all right, bro. <laughs> uh, it must be a natural looks. <clears throat> yeah, I think it might yeah, be a natural, natural looks. Very natural. And her long, you know, long, long hair, hair really suits her. She's yeah, tall, does. very lean. So. Very lean, very lean. Mm. Very lean to say the least. Clean skin, so... Clean skin, she's yeah. She's got the whole package. Lucky or clean but skin. But she's married. But she's married, guys, no, yes. No. Unfortunately for all of you guys <laughs> out there who are fans of her, she is married. So don't you dare mm. try to do weird stuff. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yes, she did play Chun Song Yee in Pyeol as a Um Kure. Great drama, by the way, guys. Check it out. Massive hit. Massive hit, massive hit. I know it became a big hit in China as well. Yes. I think because of that, they, they, they're making like chicken, like, like beer chicken like house Chimek yeah, yeah, yeah in China that's crazy that because of one crazy. drama guys <laughs> that's insane but K-drama K drama <laughs> is huge right now like it's huge. all over the world even in Asia it's uh, especially in Asia actually especially in Asia yeah yeah it's just oh, amazing amazing yeah mm. and uh, did you watch the movies and mm, uh, I did actually how did you like the movies The Thieves it was 
it reminded me of um, the oceans. Yeah, the, the oceans. oceans. It was. It Ocean was. I, I'm not. It was. I feel like it was a copy off the. It ocean. was actually. It was a very the Korean version. The Asian version. The Asian version <laughs> of the oceans, guys. That's what I thought. Uh, it was fun. It was fun. It was a good movie. Yeah. Mm. How about Berlin? Berlin <coughs> was quite similar, but it was a bit more. Uh, I don't know why, but like it might have been because of like my like, lacking Korean skills. But I watched it and I was like, I don't understand what's going on. I was mm. like. What is going on right now? Like, why, why we spoke they, a lot of English as well. <laughs> I was like, why, why are they killing each other right now? What's, what is going on? Like, that was that was my reaction during the movie. And they shot it in Berlin, so <coughs> yeah, yeah. The, interesting. The actual scene movie. was pretty good. Yeah, mm -hmm. my members were like, that was such a good movie, and I was like, what? What was the movie about? It was I, hard, it's hard to understand. Yeah, I was like, I, very, I, yeah. I just don't understand what just happened. Like, I just saw people die, and that was it. <laughs> There's a lot of twists. Yeah, like inside the movie, so weird twists, guys. Mm. But better yes. watch it twice. Interesting guys. Chun Jian, we just got our profile, so can we move on to our next profile? Okay, shall we go? <laughs> Name Ibuel. <Woo! laughs> she was born in Sorry. She was born in January 1979. Wow. And her height is 168, 48 kilograms, and her blood type is also B. B. Mm. She debuted as Miss Korea Daejeon Chungnam Jin. She came first. Wow. In that region in, two, in the year 2000. Yeah. She debuted on screen through drama in 2000, 2003, mm -hmm. but did not receive much attention. Mm. Till through a commercial for a certain airline that appealed her clean cut image. Yeah. To imagine how popular she was back then, all her ad mm. panels used to get stolen by people. Really? Yes. <laughs> for your information, the, the model for this airline used to be Han Gain, mm. just before Iboyo, who also reached stardom through this commercial. Interesting. Mm. Story before debut. Not too long ago, she revealed <coughs> this in a talk show. When she was contesting in beauty pa pageant, right. she had no dream. Mm. She did not have anything she wanted to do, nor did she have any idea of what she wanted to become. She mm. was just afraid of not belonging to anything when she graduated from college. Mm. So she revealed honestly that the reason she decided to participate was after listening to people saying that participating in beauty pageants helped with landing a job. Mm. Mm, interesting. But she managed to come first in the Daejeon Chungnam Regional, and since then she had been offered many casting roles. Yes. Her famous works. She played many roles consistently since 2003, and the general public became interested in her when she played the role of Cho In Sung's first love in the movie A Dirty Carnival. Yes, great movie, by the you way, guys. That? Yeah, in 2006. Love that movie. Mm -hmm. Since then, she <coughs> conscientiously <laughs> built her acting career and received a lot of love and was coined Kung Min Soyoungi in the weekend drama Let Dai Soyoungi, which aired from 2012 to 2013. Mm -hmm. And immediately following the, this big success of I Hear Your Voice, yes, earns her the grand prize in acting award. Wow. Wow. Woo! Yes. Dirty Carnival, did you watch that movie? Actually, that's my favorite movie. It's a great movie, guys. I actually saw it like 10 times, literally. Really? Mm. I watched it because like the fighting scenes, to yeah. be honest. It was crazy. It's like crazy, guys. <laughs> Don't watch it if you're under 18, though. Mm. It's very violent <laughs> as well. Very violent, mm. guys. But I think this is the movie that like I saw and I feel like, I was like, oh, you boy, dude, she's pretty. Like I think that was, oh, really? this is the movie that I watched. I was watched, a yeah. bigger fan of Choi In Sung, so. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, Choi In Sung is like, he's crazy in the movie. Yes. He's cool. He's it's a good movie, guys. Watch it. If, if you're over 18. If you're over 18. If or you're an if, adult. <laughs> if you're an adult, yes, guys. Uh, but yes, you know, um, Lee Boyong, she's coming out in a drama right now, I think. Is she not? Oh, she is, actually. Where, like, her like her daughter, like, gets kidnapped or something, and... What's it called? What's I don't, it, I don't remember it called? what it's called. It called. Yes. Anyways, it's, guys. It's called something. <clears throat> yeah, it's called something, guys. Uh, but yes, have, did you watch the drama, I, I actually yeah, was... saw the first part. The not first really. few episodes, but after that... No. <laughs> not really. I actually found it interesting, so I watched it. It, mm. was, it was actually a pretty good drama, but I found it weird how, like, Lee jong is like, he's a high school student, she's yeah, like yeah. a female adult, and they're like... But in Korea, that's really, um, <coughs> popular. The older Luna. Right. The older girl, the younger guy. I don't that kind know. of, you know, relationship. Yeah. Do you like older females, Kim? <laughs> uh, honestly, do I have to be honest? Honestly. No, I prefer, um, yeah, older girls than younger girls. Really? Because I seem to, you know, connect with them a bit better. Oh, really? They, like, how we communicate. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. I actually... Because I, I look pretty old <coughs> for my age. 
It's always my mental age, so. He has, like, the stash going yeah. on, guys. I'm actually very afraid of older women. I don't know You're why. You're afraid of him? I've what? never dated... Really? When he looks at him, it's like, it's like, wow. It must be the age, like... It might be the age gap or something, man. I don't even know what it is, but... Mm. I don't know. Guys, I, Aaron's scared of older girls. Doesn't mean I won't date you guys, <laughs> but... Doesn't mean I won't date you guys, but I'm a little intimidated by you guys. That's all I gotta say. You're scared of you guys. I'm a little scared of girls. you guys, yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so star and star star and stars today star and star today tongue like twice ta, ta, ta. today stars are uh, chun chun <laughs> and Lee Bo young so let's listen to a song before we move on here is the modern sungan by song si young and this is from the Pyeongchang ost 